When you sit down and eat, do you ever wonder where your food comes from? We don't mean the factory where it's packaged or the shop where your family buys it. We mean the place where it's grown, on a farm. Across the British countryside, there are arable farms growing cereals, the important ingredients that make your toast, porridge and even biscuits. So, if you visit a farm like this, you might see wheat, barley or oats growing in the field. At different times of the year, you can find farmers working hard, preparing the fields, planting the crops and harvesting. But things don't happen overnight. It takes four seasons, spring, summer, autumn and winter, to grow the wheat that will one day become the bread you eat. So how does it all start? In the autumn, the farmer prepares the ground. Once the field is ready, the farmer will plant the seeds. If you walk through the countryside, it's easy to spot when the farmer is planting. You'll hear the chug of the tractor as it crosses the fields, followed by a flock of noisy birds hoping to feast on the seeds as they're sown into the ground. The soil is packed with nutrients. The food that will help the seeds grow, they also need water and light. By the time the planting is done, it's winter on the farm. And while the crops grow slowly in the fields, the farmer cares for the rest of the land, looking after the hedgerows, trees and ponds around the farm where birds, insects and other wildlife live. Now we're in spring. Crops are sprayed to protect them against diseases and the bugs that will try and eat them. Plant food called fertilizer is spread on the soil to help the young shoots grow into the big strong crops. Soon the field transforms from a muddy space to one filled with a green sea of wheat plants that waves in the wind. Each stalk will have what the farmer calls an ear at the top. Don't think you've seen one? That's because it doesn't look like our ears. It looks more like plaited hair and is a small strip of seeds that contains between 45 to 50 grains of wheat. As the season changes to summer, so the wheat changes too, from green to gold. That's when the farmer knows it's time to get out the combine harvester, driving the big machine through the fields to harvest the crop. This clever piece of machinery collects the ears of wheat and leaves everything else behind. This includes the straw that is cut and gathered into bales to later be used for animal food and bedding. So what happens to the grains of wheat collected by the combine harvester? They're carried off in a trailer and then stored in a grain store ready to be sent to the mill. At the mill they'll be ground down into flour used to make bread, pizza bases, chapatis, cakes and biscuits. Back on the farm, the season has changed to autumn and it's time to start the whole process again by choosing which crop to grow. <laughs>